Good morning. My name is Omar Ampersad. It is... Sorry, I wasn't sure the camera was working there. I'm having all sorts of problems with my camera. Um, it is Monday, April 9, 2018 at 11.11 um, uh, 11 a.m. in Toronto. So I'm going to talk a little bit about um, how the... Um, the uh, community targeting program is ongoing in this building and how it takes place and I'm suspecting took place in the workplaces I've been in in the past as well so because I'm a target I'm on the 24-hour surveillance so what happens is um, I get updated around the, the unit so I'm suspecting this is what the setup is about it um, it um, requires that the target me is put under glass 24 hour surveillance and a, a person or a team of people who are rotating um, their uh, their shifts they uh, they uh, look at me 24 7 and record everything I do and say so there is constant meetings about what they what they see and hear inside of my home outside my home if I'm out uh, people are going to stalk me and um, report back to this manager, this monitor. So I'm being stalked. Um, this is an experiment that's being conducted on a target. This is one of the many, many experiments that's being conduct, um, conducted. So in this building then, I get updated outside the window. And as I said before, the worker I'm suspecting who was a manager for years and years and years, or is contracting for a manager, a remote one maybe, for years have, I'm very strongly suspecting, infiltrated my life in every aspect way before I suspected anything was going on. So I'm um, suspecting that from day one, as soon as I came into this building, the, um, the uh, worker who was uh, in the building was um, taken part in this community targeting program covertly. And there was most likely a, a remote manager who he was reporting to. So uh, I was being tracked back then and surveilled, illegally surveilled and reported on to this manager who was running this program, putting together the program to contain me, number one, to control me and to manipulate my life in the way that uh, this, this um, criminal organization wants. So each person, and I'm suspecting it's gone on for so long, at least 50 years now, that every person is in uh, a program the program are different for everybody because there's lots of money to be made um, in this uh, in running this criminal organization. So um, it's getting to the point where um, if anybody who has a job and pisses off anybody in the workplace, it could be a boss, it could be the company that you have a problem with, it could be a coworker um, who has a friend who has a friend who is connected to this criminal organization and put your name on the list. Um, so this, uh, this program is probably affecting just about everyone. Anybody in the workplace is probably being affected by this program. I'm strongly su suspecting that um, um, some companies, not all, are employing this criminal organization to contain their employees. Um, if someone's coming in late, if someone's um, um, doing something that the company doesn't like inside the workplace or outside the workplace. Uh, this organization can be employed to contain the person, to control the person, and to change the person's behavior using um, harassment, community harassment, stalking, and so on. And also remote technologies like lasers, microwaves, ultrasonics, and so on. So uh, this, is, um, this is just one aspect. This is just one experiment that I am experiencing in this whole vast array of possibilities that this criminal organization can take can, uh, can um, take action against their victims. The, this, is, um, this is just one of the many, many, many criminal activity that goes on under the umbrella of community targeting. So as I said before, this person in the building here, um, I'm strongly suspecting that when I started dating or when I bring men um, uh, uh, home after dates, and I haven't done that quite often, but I did date, um, before this, uh, this went public, and I'm officially now um, a target uh, to be ostracized. 
um, uh, I dated and uh, that date sometimes would mean that uh, somebody I knew for a long time uh, would be invited for dinner. And uh, once this was done um, and the person knows, um, you know, the relationship is probably going to be serious, this person infiltrates the relationship and destroys it, gives the person the password. Uh, and imagine you're trying to build a relationship with somebody uh, to get married and uh, you give the person gets a password and looks at you taking a bath, going to the bathroom uh, and so on. And this will utterly destroy the relationship, which it does. And I'm suspecting this is exactly what happened uh, within my family as well. So, um, and, and this whole thing with the family is around masturbation. Obviously, masturbation to them equals prostitution. So I'm being treated as a prostitute in my family, which of course it's not. Um, it's just a different way of uh, looking at uh, life and, and, and different belief systems. Uh, and I am very different from uh, my family. I, I'm very open-minded. Um, um, I'm somewhat liberal, uh, conservative in a lot of ways, but somewhat liberal in my thinking when it comes to um, um, trying new things, um, uh, doing new activities and so on. So, um, you know, conservative members of the families will all, of my family, excuse me, will always try to pull me back and try to contain me and try to, to, to make me do what they want me to do, basically. And this is not what life is all about. Um, let's face it, uh, just to go out on a tangent here, life is very short. On average, maybe 80 years, maybe 80 years, if you don't get killed off by an accident before that. Um, and uh, and um, a person, while uh, paying all respects to um, the, um, the social norms, um, you know, within the culture, that the person is being brought up in and living and working in one, and following the, the rules of, um, of um, respect, uh, all the human rights rules and, and, and do not doing anything illegal. Um, the person should have the right to do, conduct his life, his or her life uh, as she sees fit. So this is a human right, self-determination, determining your own destiny um, uh, your own life path. This is a human right. So the worker who's infiltrating my life constantly and, and is taking part in this community targeting program is, uh, is um, placing blocks in the way of my doing that. So that's a constitutional right. It's a constitutional right. Self-determination is a constitutional right. Um, so uh, this person is breaking the laws all over the place and nothing's been done about it. So anyway, let's go back to um, to the uh, the um, the idea of uh, the experiment that's been conducted uh, within this um, within this building. Uh, the updates are meant to terrorize you. So there is constant meetings and constant surveillance, as I said, and uh, people are constantly giving you feedback based on what they see and hear. So this way, it's meant to contain and control your activities. So this would this would explain the constant harassment outside the window, outside my door, um, the constant scanning of my body to determine my location and to um, torture, basically, discipline, train, torture. Uh, this is the experiment that's being carried on real time. This is real time happenings because if you look at my tweets, you will see that um, all the factors that I just talked about are all tweeted about with evidence. Temperature changes, heart rate changes, um, videos backing up the um, the harassment outside the window. Uh, um, you know, emails that I sent to management, emails I sent to cops, uh, and so on and so on and so on. So there are just a lot of evidence backing up what I'm saying. Um, but of course, um, since the community program, it is a community program. I'm suspecting very strongly that the police has taken part in some police. Uh, people, our uh, police persons, are taking part in the community program, which is targeting me. So um, this is uh, what's going on within the building. Um, there is a there is an ongoing um, 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 push to have me criminalized. So and to have me mentally committed, also part of this targeting program. So. 
uh, the, um, the extension of the meetings is to gather information, to submit to courts, judges, whatever, to get me mentally evaluated, to have me mentally committed, and uh, to charge me, basically. Either way, it doesn't really matter, as long as I'm being disposed of and degraded and dehumanized and taken care of um, uh, uh, and, and put into place and, and, and disposed of, basically. Uh, taken care of <laughs> as in disposed of. Um, this uh, this whole uh, um, the whole um, setup of the, the constant meetings and twenty four hour surveillance is meant to end up in my being in prison or in a mental institution. So that's the goal. This is the goal. So uh, uh, it seems to be on a weekly basis. So the updates um, when the week turns over, the updates and the harassment escalates because um, they um, there is a need for a new flag. So in order to get that new flag, what happens is the, the harassment and the, uh, and, the, um, and the torture with the remote technologies escalates a lot. So uh, it's constant sometimes. Like, like yesterday, it was constant. And uh, it takes a certain pattern. It goes from head to toe. Certain spots in the body, head to toe. Pulses in the eyes. When you want a reaction from somebody, try hitting somebody with a laser in their eyes. You will get... Um, a lot of swear words coming out of their mouth, or hit them in their genitals. You will also get a lot of swear words. Um, inside of my home, this is not meant for uh, anybody's ears. Uh, however, this is exactly what's intended, the intention. There's a criminal intent to get information to submit to a magistrate. So uh, remote technologies are used, verbal harassment, physical harassment, I use to gather this information. So it's a setup and a frame. It's constant setups and constant frames. Now, since it's, this is, in my case, I'm imagining it's global by now. It's going on for so long. Um, with judges and magistrates and, and, and court personnel and lawyers um, and psychiatrists and psychologists, these people are all aware of this program because everybody you come in contact with are going to be aware of the program. Now, again, not everybody is going to take part in it, but everybody is aware of it. So if, they're, if these people are aware that you're a target and you are being targeted and you are the one who's being acted upon and any reaction um, that uh, may have been recorded is as a result of the criminal action of, if, of inciting anger, inciting somebody to anger and... Uh, and trying to get them to do violent acts. This is a crime. So the recordings that's being submitted is actually evidence of the crimes being perpetrated by the perpetrators, excuse me, but uh, crimes that, being, that is being perpetrated against me by the stalkers and the criminals who are running this program. So the submissions for mental evaluation and, and for criminal charges that evidence is actually evidence against the people who are submitting it. These are their crimes. So given that it's global and this is community targeting, the judges and the magistrates and the court personnel are all aware of this. Lawyers, uh, uh, everybody who's in the legal system, policemen, um, firefighters, ambulance workers, everybody who responds to emergencies that comes about as a result of being targeted, these people are aware of the person being a target. So why is it not being stopped? Because it does end up in death, rape, murder, um, uh, strokes, heart attacks, all sorts of things happens when you're harassed this way. Uh, if it's not caused by the, remote by the remote technologies, it's caused by stress. So why is this program not being stopped? That's a really good question. Talk to you another time.